This is my Lenovo Legion 7 laptop. This is a laptop cooler I was just sent by, I think you pronounce it, Leno, Lenano. So we're gonna check this out here. Step one, I'm gonna test the laptop with no cooler, obviously, see how it performs. And then, you know, I can bring in another one, for example, see how that performs. And then I'm also gonna test it with the cooler here and see how that performs. I'll test it, you know, sitting down and then just raising it up for the basic use, but then we'll also test it with the cooler actually doing its, yeah. Place this side down, okay. Uh, this is like, look at this thing. It's like a jetpack. This thing is gonna move crazy amounts of air. Looks like a DJ station. Well, that's a filter. This is a replacement filter. That's what that is. So, uh, you know, if you get air, lots of junk in your filter there, you can take that out, put that in. That'll just basically, uh, you know, prevent dust and air and hair and things like that from getting in there. Um, feet look good here. Um, push. So you can actually get it even higher. So you have two kind of steps you can go. Uh, you can go like really, really high there, or you can you know, take it down by one, or you could probably even just go flat. Looks like we have some type of LED vent on the back there. Uh, I'm not sure if these are here. So I guess these are, you know, you kind of hook your laptop under that so it kind of seals it in there. Um, we'll do this right now. Obviously I'm gonna test the laptop without it and see what kind of temperatures we get. And I'll put the numbers up, but let's see here. So that should in theory, you know, kind of hold the laptop down. It's gonna actually seal it, right? So you go like that there. And what that does is then, you know, you can push that down to a certain degree there. And it almost creates like a sealant there so that there's foam so that the air is really getting forced into it, I guess, when it blows it up into the vents and then out here. So that should move some decent amount of air. Okay, so let's get this thing hooked up here. So we can see the powers over here, which is this here, uh, goes into the wall. Then you have your these extra ports that it comes with. So you can actually get some expandability with this as well, which is really nice. So you're not just getting a dock out of it, you're also getting some degree of USB-C hub. So you get your data in here. So it comes with a A to C, but of course you could probably just use a C to C, whatever. Uh, that goes in there and then you have three additional USB-A ports that are added to it. Okay, so we got the power hooked up there. This is the data in here. Okay. So raise those up there. We get our kind of foamy thing to basically seal it down. I guess that just makes sure you get a nice snug fit there. Uh, I might as well plug this in. Okay, I guess long press for two seconds. Oop, immediately starts working. Let's leave the fans down for now. Uh, so we have our ports here. Let's plug in some, I don't know, devices here. And it popped up. So, I mean, that's obviously working. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, you're going to get some USB ports out of this as well. So, you know, you if you have a USB-C or A, whatever, you can plug it in here, get your uh, USB A, USB there, plug that in, and then you're going to get three additional ports on the side. I'm kind of, it's basic mode here. It's pretty quiet. Um, definitely, I mean, you can hear it, but it's like a deeper sound. It's much deeper than the fans of my laptop that are kind of a pitchy noise, obviously. So let's bring that back. So 45. And turn it up. Holy smokes. Wow, it goes all the way up to 2600. Like that's obviously loud. A thousand there. Depends on your device. I mean, if you just have like a basic laptop, gaming laptop, I mean, you might want to go higher than 300, but you could probably get away with something like that. As long as it matches the noise of your laptop, you're probably not going to care. Switch light mode, so that's static. Uh, once it's in static, you can probably, yeah, it can change the color. So purple, orange-ish, pink, you know, I like that pink color. Blue, purple, orange-ish. Yeah, so there's a bunch of colors there. Or you can go with the like radiating, pulsing kind of thing. Uh, whichever you want. So that's going to be, like, there's different modes here. This one's kind of like a slow reverberation kind of pulsation. That's that original one where it kind of goes around. That's cool. That all seems to work. Uh, yeah, so let's do some game testing. Um, I will just basically come back with the numbers now. I'll test it on like low and high and see if it makes any difference here. Um, but yeah, we'll test it out here with this now running and get an idea if it actually makes any difference. Okay, and I'm also gonna test this here. This is a basic, called like more of a generic or more common 
cooler stand, one of, you know, the cheaper ones you can buy. This is just a cooler mastered single fan. I have a you know, triple fan as well. We'll see how it compares to the much more beefier cooler as well. I'm suspected this is still gonna bring down temperatures, but I'm not exactly sure how much it will do so. So let's test this as well in the mix. Okay, let's have a look at some results here. So the first test was done just flat. You can see here, I just basically set the laptop down on the desk. A lot of people claim that, you know, if you just raise up the back, that's gonna decrease the temperature. So I tested that. I basically just put the back of the laptop on a little block to raise it up a couple inches and then re-ran the exact same tests. So we can see here that on balanced mode, the difference is actually it's pretty substantial. It's just raising up the back. I mean, you're actually getting airflow as a result. So you're seeing, you know, five degrees, six degrees uh, on the CPU and about seven degrees lower temperatures on the GPU there. So that's good. I mean, makes sense. If the laptop's on the laying flat on the desk, you're not gonna get a lot of airflow. And then I put it over to performance mode and even more so, we saw about an eight degrees, actually it's very, very consistent across there, about an eight, 8.5 degrees decrease in temperature from CPU to GPU just by raising up the back. So that'll give us a baseline there that you know obviously gaming with your laptop flat on a desk is not great. Raising it up is already gonna have a pretty profound uh, performance improvement right off the bat. Lano at low and kind of medium fans, the, I didn't even do the high fan because the results were uh, spoiler, pretty good. So, and I got scared of how noisy it was. So, the Cooler Master, you can see here, if you look at the difference here between laying flat on the desk and using the Cooler Master, there is a decrease in temperature. Uh, you know, six, seven, eight, even almost nine degrees on uh, balanced mode. And that's consistent across in performance mode as well. So, we are seeing lower temperatures when you use the Cooler Master than laying it down on the desk. However, if you compare the Cooler Master to just raising up the back of the laptop, Yes, there is a difference here, but we're looking at like a couple degrees. So like at best, maybe a couple degrees by adding that Cooler Master plugged in with the fans, raising the laptop off the desk. And actually in performance mode, some of them actually went up. So in performance mode, it's basically margin of error. Like it's not doing anything really. And then in balance mode, maybe it's making a difference, but even so it's very minor. So, I mean, the amount of air that this thing is moving, just gently blowing air towards the bottom of your laptop is isn't really seeming to make any form of difference. I mean, you could just use the Cooler Master as like raising it up, set it on your lap and just use it. But plugging in the fans doesn't seem to really even do anything. And then we have the actual fans on the Lano that we're actually testing here. The low fan was just uh, 300 RPM, so just barely going on this device here. And you can see here, obviously from flat, it's decreasing the temperatures quite a bit. So you can see there we're getting in balanced mode, you know, minus 10, even minus 15. And then, of course, in performance mode, that's consistent as well. Slightly even more decrease in temperatures from having the laptop laying flat. So we're seeing a pretty profound difference between flat, obviously. But then I also did a comparison between just raising up the back. And you can see here, in this case for this cooler, unlike the Cooler Master, there is a pretty dramatic decrease in temperatures. Minus 6 here, minus 6.5 almost minus 8.5, so making a pretty big difference there by just having the fans on really, really low, which is actually quite quiet because it's actually sealing off the laptop. It's moving air directly into the bottom of the laptop to, to allow the internal fans to actually cool the laptop down quite a bit. And of course, this laptop also has a metal chassis on the bottom, so that'll also help with dissipating some of that heat as well. And then if we look here at performance mode, it was even more potent. So, I mean, now we're getting up to cro encroaching eight or even nine degrees here decrease from having the laptop raised up. So this is good results here. I mean, it shows that the laptop cooler is actually working. When you, even on the lowest setting here, it's allowing better cooling than just raising up the back of the laptop. And I mean, eight to 10 degrees is not inconsequential. We're looking at good temperatures here. Like this is 60 degrees, 66, 46, 46, 54, 46 on the GPU. These are great temperatures. Like 46 on a GPU when playing a game at 100% usage is actually very impressive. And then I turned it up to medium, which was 1100 RPM. This thing goes up to 2400 RPM, but I just, you know, I didn't feel the need to go above that any further. And you can see here that the temperatures are even more pronounced. So the difference on balanced and performance here when, you know, compared to the flat desk is huge. We're looking at over 20 degrees. So that's obviously very impressive. But let's look at the difference between just raising up the back of the laptop. And you can see here, again, very, very impressive results here. So we're looking at minus 15, up minus 17, minus 18 on the CPU, uh, minus 17 degrees on the GPU, and you know, versus, and then in performance mode, obviously it has slightly higher temperatures overall. And we're still looking at over a 10 degree decrease on the CPU and GPU when running just at medium in a very heavy workload. Like imagine we're running at 43 degrees with this thing on medium, right? So I mean, the results here are, speak for themselves. This device here in general 
is quite profound. The influence at even low fan speed is going to be very significant, but of course if you turn it up even higher, you get even better results. This is just a Lenovo Legion 7 Slim, and you can get much hotter laptops out there, like say I had the Lenovo Legion with the 4090, then you'd probably want to look at something like the Medium, because it's a hotter laptop, and you may want to use that on Medium for you know some very intense gaming sessions. Looking at basically nothing on the Cooler Master, versus you know 6, 7, 8, 9, and lowest fan speed and like over 10, 11, 12 on the higher, on the middling fan speed. So I mean very impressive results here. We're obviously seeing that this cooler is working and it's working much better than kind of your generic Cooler Master whatever thing that you find on places like Amazon or wherever. And what do I think of this here? Well, it actually works very, very well. It easily, easily outperforms the Cooler Master here like dramatically like significantly so. Uh, it also, of course, obviously outperforms just the laptop sitting flat on the desk or even with the back raised up. So even just getting the thing, leaving the fan on minimum does seem to have a pretty strong effect on cooling overall. And then you turn it up to just basically medium, you know, around medium, and it has a huge impact on cooling. Like I'm talking several degrees, 10 degrees in some cases. So if you're gonna get a cooler, a uh, cooling pad, don't get a cheapo one because it doesn't appear to really do anything. So you're basically taking 50 bucks and just like, basically buying a $50 piece of plastic that you can sit your laptop on that has perforations. This one actually does something. So if you're looking at a cooling pad, I can actually highly recommend this thing. I mean, I don't know about it's, you know, super long-term, uh, you know, if it's gonna break in three years or something, I can't test that. But initial tests right here show very positive results, very strong outcome, and very, very favorable towards this cooling pad here. So yeah, quite happy with this. I actually am gonna use it uh, fairly often, I think now. Very impressed with the results here. Um, I'll put a description, I'll put some links down in the description to this here uh, because I do actually like it. I only add links to the description for things that I like. I think this performed admir admirably and I think for the price, what you're paying, it is actually fair to be honest. Like it's not an absolute ripoff. So great product, um, seems to work well. Just throwing it on even the lightest or you know medium, I think you're still gonna get really good results out of this.